Hello and welcome to Tricks of the S Trade channel. Today is the 2nd of May 2017. And today we just want to step back a little bit on what we usually do and just present to um, people, more like presenting people to you. Maybe you've been curious about and asking questions, are they transgender or not? Um, we just want to do a step back and just present this kind of uh, videos in which we present people who are in the know or people who are in Hollywood who are like uh, born real gender. That means they are the gender they present themselves to be. They're not trying to deceive you based on the gender only. Because like I usually say, once you see someone on TV, especially people who are high up in Hollywood, which is owned by the Vatican, there are paid professional lies. You can't trust a word that comes out of their mouth. You can't make them role models. You can't trust anything they say. So when we're presenting these people to you, we're not trying to tell you that you should trust them, you should love them, or the case might be. We're just trying to answer some of the curious questions that you could ask. Are these people real or are they faking their gender, right? And the next reason why we step back and do this kind of videos is because there's a lot of falsehood on YouTube and all around you painted by the Vatican to confuse you, to give you disinformation. So you can arrive at, uh, make you can make the right conclusions about who's real gender and who's a transgender. So when you go, um, there's a lot of YouTube channels out there too numerous to name which will give you all these things about like um, they use like subjective details for example they'll tell you like uh, that mostly that with men that the um, ring finger on a man is usually longer than the index finger it's subjective it it, 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 it can be subjective some females do have their ring fingers who are, that are longer than their index fingers it doesn't make it doesn't change the fact that they're female all right so that's just what i'm trying to say and um also they use other stuff like you know hip to racial length to shoulder length they use a lot of things it's subjective a female's shoulders could be wider than her hips it's very very possible but what will never change is the wide pubic arch a female has which gives her the ability to be able to have children for children to come out of the womb from her genital area that will never change that wide pubic arch is always going to be 120 degrees more or less and also a female's hip is always below her crutch those are the, some of the things those are the basic foundations of trying to distinguish a male from a female all right a female will have uh, will have an arch in her back. Her pelvis is going to be tilted forward. She's going to have a wide pubic arch, 120 degrees more or more, and her hip is always going to be below her crutch. And the calf length is always going to be long all the way down from above the navel down to where the hip is at, which is below the crutch. So some of those are some of the visual differences that you would need to be able to know how to distinguish between a male and a female. It doesn't, it's got nothing to do with, uh, you know, the shoulder length to the hip ratio length as some people would say, or the index finger being longer than the ring finger for a female. And, and in the opposite, I mean, for males, they'll say that the ring finger is longer than the index. All those things are subjective. With the skull, while you can really um really uh take the skull into account it, it could be subjective because some of these transgenders can do a lot of plastic surgery to add jaw lines where they're not supposed to be or uh, add a chin implant and all that kind of thing put on some weight you know uh do a brazilian butt lift or you know uh body, body contouring to change the figure and shape from male to female or female to male as the case may be so when you're looking at that you have to look at it with subjective eyes the real the like i've stated earlier the real differences lies in the skeletal structure skeletal structure of the back a female will always have an arch in her back a man will always have a straight back right a female will always have a wide pubic arch 120 degrees or more all right and she, and her hip will always be below her crutch and her pelvis is going to be tilted forward for men, we have straight pelvises. Does it make sense? 
and wider shoulders. So those are all the things that you need to, these are the basic facts when you're trying to distinguish between male and female. So for this particular video that we're making, we are not saying that you should look up to these people or think that they're doing you good. The paid professional liars paid by the owners of Hollywood, which happens to be the Vatican, to paint a perception of your world which is not right, which is co not correct, so that you can be soaked into the new world order. So we are not saying these people are great, the people you should be looking up to or making role models. We are just stating the simple facts of trying to answer certain questions in which a lot of people are trying to know, all right, is this transgender or not? And then we are also trying to show you which channels are out there that you should be listening and watching with your eyes open that which means with your brain working to actually know what they are saying whether they are telling you the truth or they are disinformation agents of the Vatican on YouTube making videos to confuse you and hide the true um, transgender people for the Vatican all right so we're not saying that um, you can question us but I can guarantee you that we are hundred percent behind showing you truth with facts that's what we guarantee and that's we show you basic proof proof that you can see because for example all those channels will take a look at uh, you know people's fingers it's hard to take a picture of a, someone's fingers to be able to see uh, the differences and like I've said it's all subjective but you can always see the person's back you can always see the hip you can see the bone structure even through clothes all right so that's all what we're trying to say. And like I'm saying, like I'm, one thing also I want to bring to your attention is like when you see me pull up, uh, like, for example, this page that you're looking at right now where you see my mouse and you see all this right here. It's information that you should read and look up to. This is not just up here for fun. All right. So you should pause the video. You can always copy out the links and go read them. This this is information that you can read and study about. All those links. Copy it out, paste in your browser, and go take a look. All right. So with that said, let's jump right into it. And before we start, I just want to show you um, the uh, how a female's hips are measured, so that you would understand uh, in the next couple of like pictures coming up. So when I make an example of why we say this person is the gender that he or she claims to be then you can believe it so we're going to only use uh, a female comparison of a hip if it's if it's not that then I, it's more like just showing you so that when i talk about it in the videos we go along you would understand so i'll just play this short clip and i'll show you what we're saying so this is how a female's hip is measured as you can see that woman is going to run a tape around and as you can see the wo woman right here is flaring downwards she's spreading downwards men spread upwards females sp females spread downwards does it make sense men flare upwards wider shoulders as they go up the man gets wider and the female in most cases as she goes down she gets wider does it make sense and that's the widest part on her hip right there on her body right which is below her crotch see how wide that spot is below the crotch so this female is gonna um measure a tape round to see for you to see where a female's hips are located so you can actually uh, know all right so i'll play that and you see it goes round and see where that is see where that is it's below the crutch that's where the female's hips at that's a crutch it's below it right okay so I'll just finish up this video she's gonna turn around so you can see where it's at all right and that's the widest point on a female right there below her crutch all right all in front again and you see that well okay so that's what I wanted to show you and um, if it's your first time on a channel and this is the first video that you're watching I would advise you that you pause the video right here go look for the primer video just type look for it just go through um, it's gonna be like the first video if you scroll scroll through all the videos that we have on this channel to the very first video it's called primer all right look for it if you can't find it you're welcome to send me a message or a comment and I'll respond to it and we'll respond to it as soon as we can and um, look for the primer video watch the primer video and also 
when you're done watching the problem video then you can come back and continue this video and we also advise that you should please download the document that is attached to every video that we make all you need to do is just click on show more like i'm doing right here and you see this link link, link right here that i'm pointing out with my mouse that is the link of the document if you click on the link like i'm clicking right now it will take you to the document right here all right like i'm showing you right it will click take you to this document and you can actually download it copy it or whatever you want to do so it's, it's the document is going to show you like the visual differences between um a male and a a male and a female all right it will show you the visual differences so you can study it it's it's it has like 44 pages on the document but i promise you it will take you 30 minutes or less to go through it it just has a lot of pictures so because you live in a world in which you have to know this for yourself so you can do your own investigation all right and even though we're trying to present we present transgenders on our show the basis for that is not because we are against transgenders or anything we're just trying to show you that this deception that's happening in your world is actually real and it extends more more than what you could ever imagine it's in every single thing around you you've been deceived on every single level because sometimes you know when people start looking for the truth they think they think they've told you a, a lie in just one thing they've lied about everything that you can never imagine so and like we've always said the people behind this at the vatican and you should take them seriously you should not play around and think that uh, what we are doing here is for entertainment reasons don't get entertained by it you get educated so you can know how to think like i always say you always have to see with your brain even though you look with your eyes so we are here to help you to demystify your world so you can understand and make sense of it in all the chaos surrounding you all right so with that said let's get straight into the video and start showing you pictures of people who are real gender real gender in the sense that they are the gender they claim to be all right they are not transgenders all right if you see anybody on YouTube telling you these people are transgenders, you need to question what that YouTube channel is up to. All right? You need to question. Even though you're watching it, you watch it with your mind, with your brain at work. All right? And we're not saying you should trust these people either, the people that we are presenting to you. We're just presenting to you the facts that they are the gender that they claim to be. All right? That's all. Don't make no role models of them. Don't trust them. As long as you see them on TV, they are paid professional liars to misconstrue, all right, and paint you a false reality and deception, a perception of your world, okay? All right, let's get into it. And here's Kellyanne Conway. Kellyanne Conway is a, is a real gender, uh, born female and stays female. I'm gonna, on the next picture, I'm going to show you why. And based on the last video that we made at the beginning, you can see how curve length, how long it starts, from where it starts, and where it terminates right there. That's the widest point on her body in, her, in terms in case of the hips. That's the widest point right there. And as you can see, it's below her crutch. That's why she's female. Okay, see the widest point right there sticking out from the side? That's her hip. I'm going to try to blow this up as much as I can. That's her hip right there. And see how long the curve length is? It's not short. With a man, it would terminate right around here, below the crotch, uh, above the crotch, sorry. All right? With females, it's always below the crotch. This is a crotch, and this is the widest point below it. All right? So next, on to the next picture. Uh, Alessandra Ambrosia, she's a Victoria's Secret model. Uh, she's a real gender-born woman. Uh, nothing, she's not transgender. And this is Amanda Seyfried. Um, she's real, real gender, real woman, not a transgender. Uh, here's Angelina Jolie, uh, real woman, real woman, not a transgender, okay? If you, if you see these people on any YouTube channel telling you that they're transgender, you need to question what they say. Don't believe everything they say because they'll mix up some truth with some lies. You can take the truth and throw away the lie because that's what, you know, that's how people get deceived. You can be deceived if someone tells you a lie. There has to be an element of truth to soak you in. That's how scams are made. So I want you to know that. So you can watch, but you should question what you are up to. Take the truth they tell you, a little bit, that element of truth, and throw away the lies. 
have your brain working while you're watching okay all right here's a Arnold Schwarzenegger um, he's real gender he's not a transgender okay and here is a Bella Hadid real gender not transgender uh, Blake Lively real gender not transgender uh, Brandy Norwood real gender not a transgender uh, Christina Aguilera real gender not transgender uh, Claudia Jordan real gender not transgender Drew Barrymore real gender not transgender Elizabeth Hurley real gender not transgender and we have a, a video about Elizabeth Hurley's son which is actually transgender his name is Damien Hurley you can actually uh, look up that video on our channel it's called Damien Hurley transgender transsexual all right um, look for it on our channel and you can and we also show you like um, there's something else we talk about on the video but you need to watch that for Damien Hurley uh, his so-called son is actually his daughter uh, her daughter all right so let's move forward uh, Emma Watson real gender not transgender uh, Emma Stone real gender not transgender Eva Mendes real gender not transgender Foxy Brown real gender not transgender and Gal Gadot uh, she's Wonder Woman she has she's she's been in a couple of Fast and Furious movies a lot of people try to question what if she's a uh, they tell you all sort of lies about her but she's a real gender not transgender it doesn't mean that you should trust her she's a paid professional liar paid by the Vatican to uh, paint you a false sense of reality you don't believe a word that comes out of her mouth all right all right uh, Gigi Hadid real gender not a transgender a uh, Hayden Panettiere uh, real gender not a transgender uh, Hilary Swank, they have a lot of stories circling around you that uh, she's a, a transgender. No, she's a real female, a real woman, okay? Real gender, not a transgender. Uh, Hugh Jackman, real gender, not a transgender, all right? Um, Erina Shaik, um used to date, I think, um, what's the guy, what's this guy's name? Uh, he's in a couple of popular movies, I think, like, uh, one, I think, one, I think one of them is called The Sniper. Uh, I don't quite remember his name, but Erin Shake has been around a lot of like uh, Hollywood leading men, as they call them. But she's a real gender, not a transgender, right? Um, Ivanka Trump. There's a lot of news swirling around on YouTube about this woman that she's a transgender tranny. She's a real woman. And on the next picture, I'm going to show you why. And here is a picture of uh, um, Ivanka Trump in her bikini. And as you can see, the curve length, right? female indentation above the waist starts real high and see where it terminates below her crotch that's a crotch and see the widest point right there is below her crotch and you can also see the q angle it's very very cute the q angle of a female all right okay so let's move forward uh janet jackson someone sent me a message one time and said could we do a video on janet jackson that she's been worried and thinking that he could be a tranny, but I'm here to answer that question for you today. Janet Jackson is female, born female, still female, not a transgender, all right? And that settles it. Okay, uh, Jennifer Aniston, real gender. There is a lot of sad, sad stories about Jennifer Aniston. I think she's one of the most attacked people on the internet for being a transgender, but she's not. She's a, she's a, she's a paid professional liar. Freemasons are, as everybody in Hollywood ought to be if you're gonna get the big bucks because you have to keep secrets and keep perpetuating the lie and painting people with the false perception of reality which the Vatican wants you to believe in but she is not a transgender I've taken a very close look and I can guarantee you that this woman has all the facts that tell you that she's all woman not a transgender all right okay Jessica Simpson, real gender, not a transgender. Uh, Jessica Chastain, a real gender, not a transgender. Um, Jessica Bill, real gender, not a transgender. Uh, Josh Hardnett, real gender, not a transgender. Justin Timberlake, real gender, not a transgender. Kelly Cuckoo of The Big Bang Theory, she's a real woman, born that way, not a transgender. Doesn't mean you should trust a word that comes out of her mouth. She's already selling you a lie, telling you that the world started with a Big Bang, which the Vatican created. We have a video on that. You can watch the Prince Charles video, which really explains a lot of that. Okay. Um, here is Karacha Tran, 
um, real gender, not a transgender. Uh, Kate Bakingsale, real gender, not a transgender. Uh, Kate Hudson, real gender, not a transgender. Kara Knightley, Knightley, I don't know if I'm chopping up the name or butchering it, but she's a real woman, not a transgender, all right? Uh, Kimberly Gullifoyle, I think she's a newscaster. She looks funny, but she's a real woman, not a transgender. Uh, Lil Kim, you know, Lil Kim was is I would still say she's one of my favorite favorite rappers, but I don't trust a word that comes out of her mouth because she's in the lie. She's been painting us a false perception of reality that the Vatican wants her uh, to paint. Um, and for the longest time, I used to wonder why is she always chopping up her face? Cause I mean, she's a black woman. Why would she be trying to look Chinese or anything? Even though technically we know, technically speaking, we know everybody is black, and some are just more blacker than others. But I'm just trying to be politically correct when I'm not supposed to. Okay, let's just throw that out of the way. Politically correct or not, she's a black woman, right? But we don't know why she's trying to look Chinese and trying to look different. But it is what it is. She just loves butchering up her face and looking funny, but she's a real woman. I've checked her out. You can guarantee she's a real woman, born woman, not a transgender, all right? Um, Lindsay Lohan, real woman, not a transgender. Uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal, real woman, not a transgender. Um, Myra Shriver. Now, we have a video on Mara Shriver because she's the supposed wife or ex-wife of Arnold Schwarzenegger. And now some of her kids may be transgendered, but she is not a transgender. She belongs to one of those royal family lines of the Vatican, all right? And uh, people will call them the Illuminati because the Vatican is the Illuminati, right? She belongs to that royal family line that the, fam uh, like, uh, that the Vatican created to uh, use to rule the world. Proxies that they can use, you know, families that they can use to run the world. They have a lot of those families like, uh, let's say, for example, the Rothschild comes, comes to name. The Rothschild would be one of the most popular names. Then you have people like uh, the Ford, uh, the Ford family that had uh, Ford Motors. You have people like uh, Rockefeller. You have people like George Soros. They are all proxies of families created by the Vatican. And and also, uh, not to mention as well, you have uh, um, the the Kennedys. They are the royal family lines created by the Vatican to run the world with proxies. The Bushes, all those great family lines like that. She's part of it, but her, uh, some of her kids are dressed and not all of them. We have a video on it. You can watch the Arnold Schwarzenegger video on this channel and you get to find that. Don't trust a word that comes out of her mouth. We're just showing you that she's a real gender. Don't trust anything else. Don't make a role model of these people. They will kill you or leave you in a heartbeat. All right. They'll sell you out in a heartbeat. All right. Okay, let's go further. Mark, Mark Wahlberg, real gender, not a transgender, but he's higher up there. He's telling you a lot of lies with some of the movies that he's made. I can't, I can't quite remember the names, but most of the movies, the most recent one, like the Boston bombing or whatever, I, it's all painted lies. And he's part of the cabal. You can't trust the word that comes out of his mouth to make a role model of him. But I'm just trying to show you that he's a real gender, not a transgender, nothing more. All right. Uh, Miley Kunis. Uh, real gender, not a transgender. Uh, it's Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus is subject of a lot of people saying, oh, she's a tranny. But she's not. A real man. Men don't have arches in their back. All right? Men don't have their hips, right? At below their crotch line. All right? She's a real woman, not a transgender. She's, but she's part of the cabal because she's trying to paint to you the false reality that you could be gender fluid, pan, or what they call a pansexual and all that. That's what I'm saying. You can make role models of these people. But she's a real gender, not a transgender. That's all I'm saying. All right. Uh, Naya Long, real gender, not a transgender. Uh, Nicole Kidman, real gender, not a transgender. Nicole Scherzinger, real gender, not a transgender. Uh, Olga Kurilenko, real woman, real woman, real woman, not a transgender, all right? Uh, Oliver Wilde, real woman, not a transgender. Um, Owen Wilson, real dude, not a transgender. Uh, Pamela Anderson, she's subject of a lot of... Uh, uh, there's some channels out there which tell you that Pamela Anderson is a, 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 is a man, all right? You need to question that channel, even though it comes with a Christian name. You can't trust a word that comes out of their mouth on those channels. You could just watch so you can know the channels to avoid. 
and you know I, I, we've given you all the materials so you can do your own investigation all right and look up the facts that we present to you but this is a real woman not a transgender pink is a real woman not a transgender um portia williams real woman someone asked me a question one time i made a comment and said could you do a video on portia williams and i'm answering your question right here portia williams is a real woman not a transgender all right uh priyanka chopra uh she's a real woman not a transgender um regina king real woman not a transgender um remy ma a real woman not a transgender um ryan reynolds real man not a transgender scarlett johansson real woman not a transgender selena gomez real woman not a transgender but she's a paid liar as well because she was painting the reality to you that um justin bieber is actually a dude when justin bieber is a woman all right so that's why i'm saying you can't trust a word that comes out of the mouth of these people she right here was selling you a lie that she's the supposed girlfriend of justin bieber should have told you the truth that justin bieber is a girl a chick all right not a man as she uh, as Justin Bieber has been painted to a lot of screaming teenagers around the world that he's actually a man when he's a woman all right so you can't trust a word that comes out of Selena Gomez's mouth I'm just showing you that she's female and as you can see she has an arch in her back right there all right okay uh, Sharon Stone real woman not a transgender um, Tara GP Hansen real woman not a transgender um, Taylor Swift is subject to a lot of uh, uh, transgender videos on YouTube you need to question those channels and what they're up to Taylor Swift is all woman right born one still is one and hasn't changed she's not a transgender okay um, Taika Sumter real woman not a transgender um, here is Trina real woman not a transgender um, Tyra Banks real woman not a transgender um, Victoria Beckham real woman not a transgender um, Viola Davis. Now, a lot of people think that this black woman is because she looks a little bit, you know, um, ah, she's, I would say, real rough about around the ages. But she's all woman. She's a, she's a great, she's a great actress. But you can make role models of them. All right. Don't trust a word that comes out of her mouth if she's crying with tears dripping out of her eyes and and looking so emotional. These people are paid professional liars paid to paint you a reality a false reality and sense of your world but she's a real woman and not a transgender and that's all we're saying we're just giving you information all right so when you find a channel that says that she's a tranny um you need to question what the channel is up to you need to listen to know what they're saying and listen so you don't fall into their lies and deception you have a brain to think use it all right uh, Zoe Saldana uh, is a real woman, not a transgender. So with that, we come to the end of uh, this uh, particular series. It's going to be like a playlist which you can look up to and, and, and find on, a, on, a, on our channel. And we'll keep updating you as we, um, as we find these people or as we make, make investigations of them to see if they are the sex that they claim, the sex they claim to be, all right? Uh, and with that said, I come to the end of today's video. I advise that you subscribe and you stay tuned. And I leave you with these words. Look with your eyes and see with your brain. Thanks and bye-bye.